Hello, my name is Kevin Armour. I'm the Operations Manager here at Lansing Grand River Stamping. Hi, I'm Andy Buckland, Advanced Technology Manager within Manufacturing Engineering at GM. My name is Chad Tolles, VP of Business Development at Uptake. My name is Christine Becky. I work for General Motors as a Press Controls Engineer in the Vehicle Systems Department. My name is Chris Peterson. I am a Senior Director of Product here at Uptake. My name is Matt Arnold. I work for General Motors in the Manufacturing Engineering Organization. I'm Tanya Carlson, the Director of Program Management and Customer Success at Uptake. Uptake provides industrial intelligence to the world's critical manufacturing and production assets. GM selected Uptake software to improve their ability to make data-driven decisions across the stamping process in multiple plants. At the beginning of this project, our goals were to leverage data science and machine learning to help improve overall performance of a plant and to realize value created by data-driven management approaches. We also recognized a company like Uptake would bring a very different approach to creating data-driven decision-making and management tools, and we wanted to learn from that approach. Automotive stamping was a new area for us. Unfortunately, GM was patient and gracious with their time, ensuring that our team understood how everything worked. Together, we started by identifying the critical production metrics to focus on, and from there determine the proper use of available data, analytic models, and application features that would provide the most value and impact to the factory floor, measured by production and quality metrics. In our manufacturing plants, we have lots of traditional controls and IT systems in place, and mountains of data and text about how systems are running. But we didn't have a system that pulls it all together to paint the full picture. Working together with the teams at Lansing Grand River Stamping Plant, Control Systems, and GMIT, among others, we focused on building a solid foundation for analytics. The GM team was always reliable, helpful, and committed to working through the challenges and opportunities that come with combining disparate data sources. For my role in the project, I was responsible for the data that is available at the Programmable Logic Controller, or PLC, which controls the operation of the press line, as well as any programming updates that were necessary for the project. I am the subject matter expert for stamping for GPMNC, TPD, and MPD2. So my role was to assist uptake in analyzing the data, explaining how we use the data in stamping, what our metrics were, and helping them, being uptake, understand the data so they could use it for their AI models. Making the data ready for advanced analytics, or data science ready as we often refer to it, meant adjusting sampling frequency, making changes to the PLCs to collect more data, and identifying additional ways to improve overall data integrity. These data mining and cleansing efforts set the stage for success not only on this initiative, but also for future projects that will help General Motors leverage AI to transform their business. Once we reached a shared understanding of the operations and KPIs, we moved collectively into specific opportunities for improvement through advanced analytics. With a combination of supervised and unsupervised machine learning, we built and deployed eight different data science models across GM's stamping operation. Those models monitored robot performance, quality issues, and critical component health. As the individual models were deployed on production data, the working teams on both sides met daily to review the insights and compare those with internal systems and shift notes. As part of the data validation process, some PLC modifications were made for the project. These included changing the frequency of data that was already being captured, we also had to add several data points as the models were developed and further context was needed. Several members of the uptake team visited the Lansing Grand River assembly plant on a regular basis. We teamed up with the stamping operations manager, the shift leads, and the maintenance manager to educate the team members and respond to insights in real time. Uptake is a little different from systems that I've worked with in the past. Uh, most of those systems were looking at events that have occurred in the past and trying to predict those events from happening in the future. Uh, with the uptake tool using the various models that we've set up and the AI of the system, uh, we're actually trying to predict events before they occur. Post-launch, our analytics achieved an 87% true positive rate across all models, which is amazing. These analytics enabled the stamping team to optimize maintenance strategies, reduce operational costs, and optimize throughput, all driving an improved OEE score. By the end of the pilot, my team really embraced the uptake project. They were able to see how Uptake was able to provide data to them from the production monitoring system, the maintenance system, Maximo, and from daily lineups as well as other data sources into one user interface. The team could quickly look at data for a given job or for a given line and be able to see what problems they've had in the past and predict 
what they are going to have in the future. One of the potential benefits of uptake, if we could predict things like catastrophic failures of our press systems, or quality items like splits before they occur, there could be considerable savings for General Motors in the future. I think the project was a success on several levels. We demonstrated how data science methods and tools could bring out new insights about equipment performance and potential failures from the data we already have. It was awesome to witness the depth of new analytical capabilities, along with a combination of four internal systems on a single screen, giving the team superhuman decision-making capabilities in near real time. This fits well in our larger manufacturing 4.0 strategy that seeks to transform the way we run our manufacturing sites, enabled by tools and technologies.